Well, today I'm here at Custom Lithium and I'm here to tell you and show you why these guys are fast becoming the leaders in battery technology. Well, let's see how this process comes together. G'day, my name's Jamie Hazelden and I've been traveling this great country for many, many years. And what I wanna share with you is the great places that I've been to and the places that you can only imagine of getting to. I wanna show you and introduce to you some of the colorful characters, sit around a campfire and reminisce and talk about the journey and the places that we're gonna to go to. So come along with me as I share this journey with you. Proudly supported by and powered by Custom Lithium. Ever wondered what powers some of the toughest off-grid adventures in Australia? Based here in Queensland, Australia, Custom Lithium design and manufacture all their batteries in-house right here in Brendale. G'day Andy, how are you? Yeah, good thanks Jamie, how are you doing mate? Great. Well, I've just come down to see Andy at Custom Lithium. Now, he supplied me a battery for the back of the new Landy build, which is pretty awesome, and to come and check out how they're actually made here. Yeah, mate, I'd love to show you how we make the batteries, so let's get into it. Sounds great. So we have our manufacturing facility in Brendale in North Brisbane here. We're now open in Perth, uh, and we've got retailers all across Australia. So the battery process starts here at the welding station, and you can see Lee there strapping together some lithium cells and what we'll do we'll put them in the right combination to make it work as a 12 volt battery yeah right and so i can see he's got four four there is that right so you got 3.2 volt lifepo four cells uh, right and these are what are called prismatic cells yeah um, and commonly they're they're used in this sort of application for deep cycle batteries um, for high performance and they're, and they're quite compact um, yeah and the reason why we use prismatic cells over uh, your cylindrical cells a lot of other companies use is just a lot less spot welds. Um, ah. So a lot less can go wrong, a lot less areas in the battery where we need solid connections. Yeah, right. Um, so we look at that one, and so what sort of size is that? That one there looks like about a 280 compact, wow. 280 amp hours. What a difference that is to your conventional battery though. Oh yeah, and that's about the same size as a standard N70. Exactly. Yep. Yep. So not all batteries are made the same. Uh, Custom Lithium use A-grade automotive cells, so brand new lithium cells. Uh, a lot of batteries on the market, especially in Australia, use uh, B or C-grade cells. And, and these aren't new, they've, they've been used. They've done a couple of years hard work already. Uh, and you can find yourself in trouble with using these. They're probably perfectly fine for running a fridge or you know, some lights, that sort of thing. Um, but when you're trying to depend on your battery, you know, you're traveling across Australia, some really rugged terrain, uh, you know, off the beaten track, you haven't got an auto, auto electrician or, or a battery store next door that you can just drop into. Um, so buying quality equipment and batteries that are using you know, top quality components is critical. Um, make sure you seize you through the trip uh, and you get home safe. Now, what made you choose those sort of cells? So we've chosen these cells because uh, they're just a, a, an A-grade automotive cell. And we use a couple of different manufacturers and they're tried and tested. So we've been using them for quite a few years now and we know that they can output the capacity and the performance that we need. So not only do you get a, a 280 amp hour battery, uh, but it can also output enough to run a 3000 watt inverter. Wow. So in a single battery, you can run the air con or the coffee machine, uh, air fryer even if you wanted to. Now I see that he's taping them together and I can see black tape on one, I can see clear tape on another. What, what is there a difference and, and why do you have to do it like that? So we use different insulation tapes on the cell packs to make sure that they're isolated from each other in different combinations. Uh, and what we do that for is to make sure that the product's incredibly safe. We don't want it to rub through in any way or short circuit. Um, so you, at each stage that we go through the battery process or the assembly process, we have strict quality control. Uh, and so at this station, that's a key part of it, making sure that the battery, when it gets uh, taped together and welded, it's in its safest possible form. Uh, and then we'll see that on the rest of the stations as well. Yeah, okay. And what about the process of the heat in them? when the heat comes into it? Well, heat's bad inside a battery. Yep. So if it's getting hot, probably there's something wrong. Even under high load, it shouldn't get really over a high temperature at all. Yeah, okay. Um, you wanna see a battery running about 35 to 40 degrees under high load. Uh, and we actually test the battery through this process and we run a FLIR camera over it to determine any heat points. Right. Um, so it's a, it's a key part in the process as well, right? When we talk about quality control. Yeah, uh, yeah. And if it's getting hot, it's probably not good. And yeah. we test for that before it leaves. Ah, and I, I actually thought when, when they're getting charged, um, that they would heat up. Yeah, there is definitely always uh, some level of heat. Yeah. Uh, and you will see a bit of charge heat, discharge heat, and 
especially when energy is converted, you, you will always lose that little bit of uh, energy in that process. Yeah, right. Uh, and that does, you know, it happens through heat. Yeah. Okay. Um, but at the same time, it's not getting too hot that it can cause an issue. Yep, yep. Mm. So where do we go to from here? That'll come through with our custom designed aluminium bus bars to suit that model of battery that he's building. He'll weld them together here on our uh, fancy laser welding machines. What's the benefit of having two laser welders here over the old, old way of doing it with fixings? So when we started building the batteries with the normal fixings, uh, attaching the bus bars to the top, the top of the cells with uh, washers and nuts and a bit of uh, Loctite, um, what we found was that there'd be a bit of a failure rate with the resistances and the heat through the battery. Yeah, right. So when you're charging and discharging, we talk about heat. Yeah, okay. So what we found is when we went to the laser welders, uh, and we're always looking for ways to improve and make the batteries better, mm -hmm. we actually reduced that failure rate by about 98%. Wow. Uh, just overnight. Uh, so what it does is it gives us a really clean weld into the top of the ce uh, cell terminals mm -hmm. uh, to the bus bar, and it creates a great connection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that's just it's solid. Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. So, so you don't have to worry about uh, the nuts coming loose uh, inside the battery or the studs pulling out. Mm -hmm. uh, stripping the cells, so all these little manual fixings can cause those kind of issues. Yeah. Uh, and the welds give us a great connection, we just don't need to worry about it. Yeah, okay. Uh, so once we've welded the bus bars to the top of the cell pack, uh, from there we assemble the electronics in our assembly room. So okay. Jump in and have a look, eh? Hey? Yeah. So when we're uh, taking our custom design bus bars uh, from the welded cell pack yeah. and, and installing it into the battery enclosure, what we do is uh, we actually do it in a way so we get the most performance out of the battery. Yeah, right. Yeah, so with the BMS, you know, we high discharge BMS, great quality cells, um, but how you connect all that in a way that makes it a functional product uh, yeah. that you can bring to market. And so you actually design all those and they're all different, aren't they? Yeah, so the different uh, aluminium bus bars that we've custom designed to suit each different package or each different battery. Yeah, right. Uh, so you've got your ultra slim range and they use a different set of bus bars. Yep. Uh, and they're all cut and folded locally, different fabrication companies that we partner with. Yeah, okay. Um, but we design them all in-house. So with the assembled product, this is how it comes together. So as you can see, you've got your different bus bars there, it links the cell pack together. Yep. Uh, and then we use a different combination of like three mil closed cell foam, um, HDPE plastics that are all custom designed uh, to suit the different battery models and to keep the safety or the internal components of the battery incredibly yeah. safe. Yeah, right, right. And that's all to do with fire and heat and all those sorts of things? That's it, yeah. We want to make sure that we've got a, a safe product that we're selling to the market. Uh, and if we wouldn't use them ourselves or have them behind the seats of our own vehicles, yep. we couldn't sell them. Yeah, so for sure. That's a key focus here. So this this gets finished off here and then what, it goes to a testing procedure? Or yeah, what? so before it leaves each different station in the building, mm -hmm. uh, the person that's at that station or the assembly or welding or whichever, you know, wherever it's at, that person will go through a strict quality control procedure. Right. And they'll actually take a, a photo of, it, of the battery at each oh, station. Oh, wow, wow. Yep. So we can actually look back at any stage and, and look at how the battery looked at that station. We know that that assembler or welder has actually ticked the boxes that are needed to make yep. sure that product is safe. But how good's that? Because you, one, it's recorded. Two, you can see if there's a comeback and what, what that could have possibly been. Oh, so absolutely. Yep. That's awesome. A lot of transparency there. And then Obviously, we also give uh, all of our customers a tour and we show them this process as well, which is just unreal. Yeah, that's just quality. Yeah, it makes us proud to be Aussie made and actually be designing and building these things yeah. here. Yeah. So from here, uh, what we do, we take the battery out to our testing station and it'll go through another strict quality control test process. Um, yeah, okay. So I'd love to show you, mate. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. So at the test bench here, and uh, what we're checking for is just making sure that the battery is built to a high quality. Mm -hmm. So Dan's our key tester. And what he does, just looks at every single nut and bolt, make sure they're tight, make sure that the internal resistances are low. Uh, you don't want high resistance, you don't want heat, as we discussed. Yep. So we put the battery on a charge and a discharge test. Um, and we want to make sure that the battery is going to output uh, and perform the way that we say they will. Uh, yep. So we test every single battery that leaves this building. Wow, wow. And when you say they check every nut and bolt, what do you mean? They actually put a spanner in there and yeah, do it again? Yeah, so each one of the guys in the assembly, they'll go through and they'll actually tighten every single nut. And mm -hmm. then they'll use a little bit of yellow paint pen to make sure that we know when it goes between stations that that one's been checked. Yep. Uh, and then at the testing bench here, we'll actually run another spanner over every single nut and we'll make sure that they get tested again. Then they get marked green. So there's two sets of paint pen wow. on every single nut and bolt. And, and then another photo. Another photo, yeah. So that comes at the end. So we'll do the charge discharge test. We'll mm -hmm. make sure that this can run a 3000 watt inverter like we say it can. Right. And then what we'll do is uh, get the QC sheet again, tick off that every item has been checked, the mm -hmm. battery's safe, get another photo. Yeah. 
Yeah, and then and that's plugged into this stuff here. Yeah, so we're using a bunch of Victron gear for our testing equipment. We love Victron gear. We yep. use it in all of our caravan fit outs as well. Yeah, right. Uh, it's just quality gear that we know performs, mm -hmm. and it's gear that a lot of people on the you know on the road in these caravans are going to be using. Yeah. So okay. why not test it in that way? Absolutely. Uh, we also have some other testing equipment we don't put on on display. We just make sure that the batteries are safe and that they do what they're going to what we're yeah, yeah. going to do. So. And then from there, it goes to dispatch. Yeah, so from here, it gets a lid slapped on and uh, chucked in a box and goes anywhere in the country. Wow, that's so good. One of the key features of a custom lithium battery that really sets it apart uh, from, from our competitors is the ultra slim, ultra compact designs, the custom designs. Um, but internally, the features. So being able to have a, a battery so small that can output and run a 2,000 watt inverter, you know, 3,000 watt inverters, um, so critical. So how we achieve that is with all of our custom designed bus bars, um, the features internally with the battery, so the BMS, using a high quality BMS, and we've used thousands of them, we trust them, great product. A lot of battery products on the market have passive balances. Um, you know, they don't really utilize the balancing features internally in the battery. And we use that by having an additional piece of hardware called an active balancer. And what that does is it keeps the cells aligned as closely as possible. Um, and what that does is it also helps with the charging and discharging to keep the battery uh, in a way where it really prolongs the life of the battery and gets the best performance over a long, long time period. So this is some of the range we got here, Jamie. Wow, there is a lot of range there in actual fact. But um, I'm guessing they're all to suit different circumstances. So we, you know, we started off with our ultra slim batteries uh, that sort of suit the headboards of vehicles, you know, and canopies, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and then we, we started developing some vehicle specific batteries. So Ford Ranger here, that's designed to go behind the rear seat of the Ford Ranger um, without, oh, right, without eh? too much modifying of the vehicle. So the next generation of ultra slim batteries that we've just brought out to market this year, um, we're incredibly proud of them. What it does is it brings consistent branding to the products. Um, they look fantastic, powder coated black and green. Um, they look great in a, uh, along a headboard in a canopy setup or in a caravan, just fantastic. They look brilliant, but they're still based on our fundamentals. So they still use the high quality BMS. They're all A grade lithium cells. You know, we really built on what we'd uh, started in 2020 and we've just taken it to the next level. Um, just building a great product that uh, can be relied upon anywhere in the outback. So these products here are more for your caravans, you know, larger capacity, high performance, high output. Um, and a lot of the time we'll install these so that people can live longer off grid in the caravan. Yeah, okay. Um, or okay. run their aircon or coffee machine, that sort of stuff. So. Yeah, well, I mean, when you've got them ones where you sit them under the beds. Yeah, Australian standards have changed a little bit on that. So oh, know, right. putting it under the bed these days is still okay. Um, definitely can still do it, but you just got to make sure you do it in the right way. Yeah, right. Um, so with lithium, and we talk about how, I, you know, how high the output is, mm -hmm. um, what they want to do is just make sure that it's incredibly safe. And, and that's one of our key um, you know, thought processes here as well. Yeah, so right, right. What you've got to do now is if you want to have it under the bed, um, have it in a sealed container a seal, and vent it to externally out to the atmosphere. So right. It's just about being safe and, and we can always applaud that. Like the, you know, That's so critical in our industry. Yeah. Well, you've got quite a range of different products and you've got a lot of it. So yep. what happens there? Is that Retail or? Well, yeah, so we have a full shop front here in Brisbane uh, yeah. and we're just opening in Perth at the moment, wow. uh, which is exciting for us. But what we do is uh, we pair our batteries with great quality chargers and, and accessories. So mm -hmm. we actually bundle those together on our website or when uh, we're doing the full installations here, you can buy the whole package. Yeah, okay. So you've got online, an online shop for all this? Yeah, yeah, online. We sell online all day, every day. Yeah. Um, you know, batteries anywhere across Australia, people can find us on online. Yeah, um, okay and then in-house installation, and then you've got the retail outlet of it. So you've got it all covered, and same for Perth. Yeah, so in Perth, we're just opening up. So it'll be a showroom, uh, you know, dispatched locally in the Western Australian area. Yep. Um, so one thing we found when we're dispatching from Brisbane, obviously we manufacture here, yep. um, but getting the batteries across the country can just be timely. Yeah, um, for sure. So we want our products in the hands of our customers. Yeah. We don't want them waiting for anything, you know, we. We, you know, a lot of people since COVID, they're like, oh, I can wait, you know, two months or three months. No, nah, that's rubbish. We want them in their hands straight yep. away. So that's we it. just don't accept that. Yeah, fair enough. Um, so opening up in Perth, next natural step, that's going to solve that problem for us and uh, hopefully have stock there ready to roll. Both sides of the country covered. Yeah. yeah. So when you're installing a lithium battery in your, uh, in your vehicle, you want to make sure you're using quality charging equipment. Um, and I guess when it comes down to it, 
Uh, you've got your Red Arc, your Enerdrive, that kind of gear, great quality gear, but you want to make sure it's got a lithium profile. Um, if your charging equipment doesn't have that, what will happen is it won't charge lithium battery quite correctly. And that will work for a set period of time, uh, but it's not great for the battery over long term. So what you want to see is good quality charging equipment that has the right charging profiles and it puts that charge into the battery and maintains the, the long life of your battery. What can happen if you, if you don't have you know, quality uh, equipment, quality chargers, quality lithium batteries, um, and, and maybe they don't have the right safety features internally with the BMS? What can happen is if your chargers overcharge the batteries, uh, it can cause off venting of the gases internally. Um, all sorts of issues can come from, from just not having quality equipment installed in the car. So, um, you want to make sure you're using good quality equipment. When you've got a lithium battery installed in your vehicle, you need to be aware of the fact that it can output such high discharge, uh, and a lot of the good quality brands can. So uh, being safe, making sure that your connections are tight, uh, the battery's firm and it can't slide around, move around, um, having good quality charging equipment. So if you don't have any of these things quite right, um, there is a chance that something can go wrong. And making sure that you've ticked all those boxes is critical. Um, no one wants a fire in their vehicle and no one wants to have to deal with any of that. So if you can make sure you're doing the right safety checks before you do a trip, after you do a trip, um, these things are critical. So what's the future hold for you? Well, mate, uh, this year is going to be massive for Custom Lithium. We've got some great products that we're working on at the moment, some new product design work uh, for new vehicles, obviously. Mm -hmm. And um, we just want to keep doing what we do well, which is batteries. Um, yeah. So, mate, this year we just really want to just keep hitting the ground running, uh, make some great products and really just be the number one battery supplier in Australia. And what can I say? I mean, I've had an unbelievable day down here today. And what I do love is to see an Australian made company that's all done in house, making products, selling products and getting it out to the consumer. But seeing the attention and detail that these guys put together is pretty good. And especially that they're sending all over Australia. Thanks again, mate. Really appreciate no, thank it. Thank you.